My brothers and sisters in Christ, we all know for sure that Jesus is coming again. The signs are so clear before our eyes. You see, we see the world crashing down econ economically, physically, spiritually. My friends, inside AUP campus, there are so many students preparing to go home. So many students going to their own abode. And mind you, they, we may never see them in person again. That should break our hearts, my brothers and sisters. And it should also give us a realization that this time is a time wherein we should share the truth with urgency. We should share the truth as we have never shared the truth before. Brothers and sisters, have we counted the cost of being Christ's disciple? In Luke chapter 14, I'm reading starting from verse 26, going down to verse 33. It reads here, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life, also he cannot be my disciple. Contextually speaking, the word hate here is basically telling us what we are prioritizing more. I will not deal more into those technicalities. But the point here is, uh, let's read down to really see the point right here. And whoever, verse 27, and whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build the tower, sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it? Lest haply after he laid the foundation and is able not, not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going to make war against another king, sitteth not down first, and consulteth whether he be able with ten thousand to meet him that cometh against him with twenty thousand? Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sendeth an, ambas an ambassage and desireth conditions of peace. So likewise, who so ever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. My brothers and sisters in Christ, are we disciples of Jesus? Have we laid all to follow Jesus? Our comfort, our sins, our nets, have we cast it down to follow the Savior? My friends, opportunities are passing by. I would like to share a short test testimony of mine that happened one week ago on one week or so after the final exam the Lord took away my internet he took away my distractions basically that was the night before I spoke at PIC for the Vesper service and after that he gave me a really strong impression to journal everything to journal all the encounters I had with, he, with him when, the, when my internet was taken away, and when I started to write down what God has been doing in my life, I can see and I can feel the Holy Spirit moving me in every day, in each and every appointment I make. I have realized that I was so distracted that I could not hear the Spirit's voice. It may be simple, brothers and sisters. Whatever hinders us may be simple. But if it will be at the cost of our salvation, it is not worth it. Have we counted the cost of being a disciple of Christ? We have encounters every day, my brothers and sisters. In this campus, there are people, again, that we may never see. Please, as a disciple of Christ, throw everything at His feet and move out for His glory.